Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today I'm going to take you guys through a week in my life and I will be showing you specifically what I create trash wise. No. I'll be taking you guys through a week in my life and showing you how much plastic waste I am generating. This is something that has been requested I think ever since I started talking about zero waste and I would love to talk more about not only being the perfect zero waste of which you all know at this point that I am not but I thought it could be cool to make a video specifically about well what about the plastic trash that I do create then and for that specific purpose this video has a sponsor Da, 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 da. This video is sponsored by my Plastic Diary, which is an app you can install on your phone and it functions kind of like life sum calorie counting wise, but for plastic trash. And it's a really cool way of keeping yourself on track, keeping you motivated in a low waste journey, or simply if you want to get a good overview of how much waste you are creating. This app is specifically created for plastic trash, so it can keep you on your toes when it comes to low waste living, zero waste living, low impact living, whatever label you might find works for you. But I will be doing this for a week. I haven't used the app before and I'm really, really excited to start using it today. And when this video is over, I will continue to use the app. So if you want another video from another week where everything looks different, because that's also kind of something I wanted to go over a little bit, even though my week this week looked like this. Next week, it might be totally different. It might be more, it might be less. That's kind of human experience, I guess. So I'm super, super stoked to be working with my plastic diary and to be giving you guys this video. So let's just get right into it. So my bananas this morning had some stickers on them, so I'm going to put those into the app. There is no specific sticker button, so I put it under other, and then I just typed in what they are weighing, which is very little, so I put it in at one. One gram, which I think is is about right. Day one of plastic tracking is going off to like an okay start, I feel like. When you track your plastic waste, you will also be given rewards that you can share on social media. The golden award means that you've created less plastic waste than the average expert level. The silver means that you've created less waste than the advanced average. And the bronze means less than intermediate. Stickers are generally one of those things where it's really, really hard to avoid. And if the choice is between a fruit with a sticker on it and a fruit in a plastic bag, obviously I'm going for the sticker. It's not perfect, but it's very, very little waste compared to the alternative. So. Um, Let's keep going, let's keep going, and I'm excited to use this app now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hello, a little chicken before dinner. Jens and I are about to go out and um, buy some things for dinner in a normal supermarket, and then tomorrow I have my farmer's market. Um, but otherwise, today there hasn't really been any waste. For lunch, we had bulk pastas, and then with the sauce that I made from a broccoli stem, which I also talk about in one of my blog posts. So if you want that recipe, you can go and find the link down below. But that came completely without any packaging because bulk pasta and then the broccoli and the oat milk and everything like that were either bulk farmer's market or homemade. <laughs> so no plastic. And right now I am having a soda in an aluminium tin can. Jens got this for me and it was kind of a lifesaver because I've been working for such a long time so that was nice to have. And these are part of the Danish return system which means that I will get some money back when I turn this in. The Danish return system has a really really high recycling rate. I think it's over 90-94% which is really good. Um, so that's nice, that's something that I like that we have which makes me feel a little less bad about buying stuff like a, like a soda here and there. So yeah, let's go to the grocery store and get the things that we need for dinner and do that without any plastic. Also, just a practical piece of information. In the app, I put uh, just me as an individual in. So if I were to have put me and Jens in as a couple, which you can also do, you will have twice as much ways to make. Does it make any sense? Like it's going to double. We just got back from the supermarket and a lot of the stuff comes without plastic, so that's so great. We have strawberries in cardboard, we have peas in paper, potatoes in paper, and then we're making burgers tonight, and these burgers come frozen in this cardboard box with no plastic inside, like they're loose. And the burger buns are also in bulk, but there are a couple of small plastic items. 
I manually weighed out most of my trash that belonged to the other category, but the app already has standard measurements and weights for tons of common plastic items. So that makes the app super easy and convenient to use. The way, and they seem like they're paper, but they are actually also plastic. And um, they come with a plastic coating that has BPA in it, and they are unrecyclable. How much are these receipts and like the sticker weighing? I don't know, five grams maybe? Let's do that. That was day one done with the plastic trash tracker. I honestly think this is really, really cool and I'm looking forward to see what is going to happen throughout this week. Um, so far it feels like a life sum, you know, like the calorie tracker, but for trash. Honestly, I think that's something a lot of people would find really, really motivating and inspirational, especially if you are beginning your sustainable journey, because it really gives you a great overview of your consumption of plastic. Is this tracker going to be able to point out every piece of trash in your house or every time you've been in contact with plastic? No, obviously not, but I also do not think that's the entire point of it. Like there is hidden plastic in a lot of things that you cannot put in an app, but for an overview and as a motivator to keep going or to start trying, I think this is super, super cool. So uh, I've just been out on a run. I'm going to go and enjoy my strawberries and watch a movie with Jens. See you guys tomorrow. So we got some bulk shampoo that we are now just pouring into our own container. We got this from a bulk store in Aarhus. And then we're gonna put this thing on later. So it's a little dispenser. It is a little dispenser. Also, it's raining a lot today, so I don't know if I'll be able to go to the farmer's market or if we just have to make do with what we've got. That is also an option, but soon I'm going to be making some lunch. It's about half past 12 and so far no plastic either. These are some of the things I'll be cooking with today. We have the peas from yesterday, some soy sauce, some vegetable, vegetable. We have different kinds of small leftover veg from the fridge. I have tons of sesame seeds that I need to use and then some rice from bulk. So, uh, yeehaw. <laughs> we have the small pieces of trash just chilling. I just went back to my apartment to get some more of my plants for the window. So the move is still going on ever so slightly, yeah. This is what I ended up making for Lunch, this is so great. And these soy chunks also came in a cardboard box, but there is actually a little piece of plastic related to this dish. I'ma show you. I'ma show you. Because... Because the butter that I use for my sauce comes in this piece of packaging, and this is plastic-based. So this will have to go in the app once I'm finished using it, which will be later this week as well. And this is how I store my leftovers. Hello. So, full disclaimer. I got my period. <laughs> and is that relevant? Sorry. Is that relevant for this vlog? It is indeed because I really wanted sweets. Luckily, you can get bulk sweets in most grocery stores in Denmark, but right now it does come with a little bit of waste, and usually it does too. But let's talk about that. Okay, okay, okay. Because for the bulk aisle in the grocery store for the sweets, all of this is vegan, by the way, I bring my own little canvas bag. This is very, very lightweight. And oh yeah, I'm looking so much forward to this. And just for measure, I also got a little sourdough bun and a... A um, piece of cauliflower to use in some barbecue dish that I really want to do. And this is the amount of trash I produced. First of all, there is this glove. This is the glove that you have to use with the bulk sweets. They don't have spoons anymore, and I guess because of uh, safety measures, COVID and stuff, so you have to use one of these disposable gloves. So I brought it back to put it here. Then we have the receipt, like normal, like yesterday. And on this receipt, there is also a sticker, um, which the like bulk section will print out and you have to put it on your little bag and that has sort of the scanning code. So 
We have a couple of pieces of trash that I'm going to weigh. I think this goes in uh, as others as well. Um, so I'll do that and see how much that is. <laughs> So not a lot of grams, I think this will go in as two grams as well. I'm just, do you see my little, oh, I have been a dum dum and putting my trash on a plate when I could have been like zero waste iconic influenza goals the entire time, wait a second. Girl, oh my god, oh my god, this is... <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is in no way shape or form to ridicule anyone who uses the mason jar to collect their trash in or You know any of the sort whatsoever. I don't do it myself normally because I feel like Living every day with this jar and putting all your trash in this jar. First of all, I'm not perfect It puts a lot of pressure on yourself and on your mental health and you cannot control everything around you What goes in the jar and what doesn't go in the jar? I feel like the jar is a great way to get people interested in zero waste, but it doesn't necessarily Keep people in the movement if that makes any sense. I feel like when you when you're gotten there, when you know what zero waste is, when you want to do it, the trash jar becomes a demotivator rather than a motivator, I feel like a little bit. <laughs> Am I basic now? Also, yeah, I, the trash jar is a lie. That trash jar is a vicious, vicious lie. I said what I said. So today we have a receipt and we have two uh, train tickets and then another sticker. This is from a thrift store. We went to a thrift store out of town today and we got two train tickets to go and pick up my new bike. That is second hand of course. So there are a couple of things that can go in the jar today. Bam. Like so. Okay. And... Collectively, I think. Oh, we need to weigh it. God damn it. So. <laughs> Still nothing. I think we'll put it in as two grams again. Yeah, it'll be fine. So, let's go there. And, uh,. Yeah, all of this trash is something that you really cannot avoid if you're going on a train or if you're shopping basically anywhere. Most stores with the most stores will print the receipt whether or not you want the receipt. So I've been asking stores whenever they ask me, do you want the receipt? Then I ask them, do you print it either way? And when they say yes, I say, okay, then I want it. Um, so I can keep it in the jar as well. But the very few times where it has happened that they say that they only print the receipt upon the request, which I think is amazing. I, of course, say that I don't want it. So we are going to make dinner and we are both so tired. So I dug up something from the freezer and we're trying to do that. And we have this, this was on clearance in a grocery store. This is some vegan Parmesan substitute. And that came in a plastic bag on the inside. I just dropped a little bit of it. That came in a plastic bag on the inside. I just keep dropping things. I like to, or I often end up buying things that are about to be thrown away from the grocery store because I think it sends a good signal that we don't want food to be thrown away. Please and thank you. Um, so that's something that I like to support, especially with the vegan products, so they won't be wasted. And uh, we're about to make the world's worst lasagna, so. I'm just creepy and silent in the background. Why, yeah, why, and what is wrong with your arm? It looks so weird. No, 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 I hate it. No, I hate it. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. It is Thursday and uh, today I messed up. I am no longer the perfect goals zero waste. I also ripped my shirt. Rip. That's just too bad. But I did get a couple of things in plastic today because I was not as prepared a zero waster as I try to be. That's what it is. So let's go through what kind of waste I have created today. First of all, there are receipts. These are really, really hard, as I've said in all other clips, to avoid. So we have two receipts which will go in the jar. Then I have a sticker. And with the sticker, I have this sandwich wrap because Jens and I, we were having lunch uh, downtown and we ended up getting vegan subs. And um, 
they come in this paper and it seems like paper but if I know anything about fast food wrapping is that there is a thin layer of plastic and you can't really see it, you can't really separate it, but that just makes this kind of um, paper completely unrecyclable. So in the jar it goes. Usually I will bring my own soy wax wrap paper to use instead, but as I said, I wasn't a prepared zero waste today, so this is what happened. And then I have a plastic uh, tray because we went to one of the stores and I got some sprouts for dinner tonight and these were on like the clearance, we are about to throw these away section. So I ended up getting that and I got it in this plastic tray with the cling film on top. This is not something I do a lot, but when it sprouts and stuff like that, I can never get that without plastic. <laughs> so the zero waste jar is officially runneth over. And it's also Friday. Hello guys, I'm in my old room because I've been filming. I still film in here until a couple of days, then I will be moved out here as well. But I didn't check in with you all of yesterday because I was at one of my best friend's weddings and it was an amazing, wonderful day. And I didn't create any physical trash per se, but of course there were trash related to bringing the food and the drinks and whatever, etc, etc. But I used my own glasses instead of plastic cups and uh, I, yeah, that was sort of it. I did use napkins and they are, whenever you've used them, unrecyclable. Fun fact, you can compost them, of course. Um, but I didn't get to bring those home with me because, yeah, I simply forgot. Um, yeah, I also didn't buy anything, so I don't have any receipts yesterday. That's just so neat and lovely. So now I'm headed off to the beach with some friends from my Taekwondo team and uh, I assume I'm going to be buying something on the way. So there will most likely be a receipt there as well. But I want to keep this uh, weekend super, super low waste and see how well I do that. But let's see where this takes me. Hello everybody sent assistance and I did produce a few small pieces of trash so let's go over them firstly we have another sticker from a banana I had this morning then I have a receipt because I bought the banana and then while I was at the beach with my friends I ended up getting an ice cream and this is from the vegan Magnum ice cream and uh, it was one of the only vegan options they had that didn't have any vegan scoops so when we all went out for ice cream this was kind of the option and it's a great option I really really enjoy it I would just rather not have it in plastic so usually what I will do is that I will have a scoop instead and then bring my own things but again they didn't have any scoops for me there so By the end of the week, the app showed that my total amount of plastic waste for the week weighed in at 30 grams and that the average amount on the expert level that I set it to was 96 grams. So I was awarded the golden medal and I'm just gonna tell you, this is the kind of content I'm there for. Yes, give me medals for avoiding plastic. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you liked about it or if you want me to do more vlog style trash diaries where I talk about the trash that I do create, how no one can be perfectly zero waste and that's also kind of not the point of the movement but it's generating less waste, it's consuming less and uh, I hope that you guys got that from what I was saying in this video. Thank you so much to my Plastic Diary for sponsoring this video. I will keep using this app because I feel like it's super, super motivating. And I definitely also think that a lot of you guys would feel the same way. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!